Travis Barker seems totally obsessed with Kourtney Kardashian, but was she his second choice? Travis's ex-wife is accusing him of cheating with Kourtney's sister, Kim. I divorced my ex because I saw them. I caught them having an affair. My family's broken because of this family. And Travis himself admitted that he was a serial cheater. That's how I am, like I was always girl crazy. His partying and drug use was out of control until a deadly plane crash changed his life. But did Travis's near-death experience really change him? She says that Travis is quote, 100% lying. I don't want toxic relationships. I just wanted to move on. This is the real life story behind the tabloids. I hated flying. I was telling my manager, I'm gonna die in a plane crash. We went to the airport, everything felt wrong. I called my pops from outside the plane and I was like, yo, this plane is really small. I have a horrible feeling, you know, if anything happens, make sure my kids are okay. A half hour later, you know, they're, you know, calling like your son's in critical condition. He's been in a plane crash, four people have died. And my biggest fear in my whole world was coming true. Wow. So with all of that that's happening, the first thing that he's worried about is his kids. Yeah, his kids were his whole life. Before Travis married Courtney, he had two kids with Shayna Mopler. She was a former Miss USA, and he was the drummer for one of the most popular punk bands of the 2000s. I was doing a lot of drugs recreationally. I was living a very wild rock star lifestyle. I feel like someone put something in our drink. Three vodka cranberries each isn't gonna do this. Honey, we drink like 12. Travis had to travel a lot for work, leaving Shayna at home with their kids. He's so gonna walk before I get home. Please, he doesn't remember me. Oh, I'll remember you. Yeah, They're out partying and doing drugs all night while they have kids. Yeah, but Travis still wanted to put their kids first. When Travis was home, he accused Shayna of sleeping in until 2 p.m. while he took care of the kids and then worked all day. Oh God, I can't I wait, can't. honey. I cannot <laughs> wait till you have one job where you have to be there eight hours a day. Half of what I do. Just the way that he's saying it as if it's like, like he's trying to like throw a dig at her. She's at home with the kids. The kids don't stop after eight hours. He's like excusing himself, putting all the burden on her. Like you're not even there yourself. You're right. It did seem like neither of them was as present as they wanted to be. And that clearly bothered Travis. He wanted a different life for his kids than he had growing up. I came from a broken home. I wanted much more for my children. I wanted a mom for my kids that would wake up before three in the afternoon. She didn't prioritize our life and our family in the same way I do. But Travis wasn't living up to what he said he wanted for his kids either. The final straw was when she claimed to have caught him with Kim Kardashian. Travis admitted that he had cheated with multiple women, but he insisted that Kim wasn't one of them, even though he was attracted to her. He said, how could you not stare at Kim? I love curvy girls. Kim was eye candy. Travis claimed he never acted on his feelings, but Shayna had a different story. Shanna Mokler is claiming that she caught her ex-husband Travis Barker with Kim Kardashian. She said, I divorced my ex because I saw them. I caught them having an affair. He had already had an affair with Paris Hilton. We were working on our marriage and trying to heal through that affair. Travis and Shayna filed for divorce, but they were still living together for their kids. And in 2007, they bought a family home in Calabasas, where the Kardashians lived. Travis wanted to be a good dad, but his relationship with Shayna seemed really volatile. His partying and drug use started spiraling out of control until a devastating accident changed everything. Your daughter predicted the crash. The day I left, didn't want me to fly that day. Hysterically kept crying, saying the roof's gonna come off. The landing gear popped, sounded like gunshots. We were a ball of fire in the, in the sky. I caught fire trying to go to the front of the plane to save my two friends. I open the emergency exit, I jump into the jet fuel. So my whole body is engulfed in flames. I had 65% of my body burned. When I was in the hospital, I was on so many drugs, I didn't even know my friends had passed away. I thought everyone was just in different rooms. They couldn't give me enough medication to knock me out because I had been self-medicating for so long and abusing meds for so long. Travis was in so much pain that he thought about ending it all. I would call friends of mine and go, yo, I'll deposit a million dollars into whoever's bank account. You were willing to pay someone a million dollars to take you out? Oh yeah. I mean, they had to take my phone out of my room. And the hardest part for him was seeing his kids' reactions. It was just hard for them to see me in the state that I was in. You know, they color in class, and he had uh, everyone's drawing pictures of their family or what they did on the weekend, and Landon's drawing a, a picture of 
a plane crashing. So, yeah. Travis had to choose whether to give up or step up for his kids. When I got out of the hospital, I didn't take any drugs. I went from recreationally abusing drugs to coming out and refusing to take pain medicine. So you just, just turned a corner in your mind. Yeah, I think it was mainly my kids and just a second chance at life was enough for me. My kids kept me positive. It was a constant reminder I've got to overcome what happened. The next step for me was to become vegan. I became addicted with music, uh, working out, like going boxing. And now Travis could truly show up for his kids. They think I'm, I'm like perfect dad. We do everything together. Yeah, we're, we're friends. And right next door, there was another Kardashian sister who was prioritizing her kids after ending her own toxic relationship. Our neighbor and friend, Travis Barker, decided to come over. His kids and my kids are really good friends. You know, I knew Kim for years, like back in the day. I've, you know, I've known the family pretty much for like 10, 12 years. And we just happen to all live in the same neighborhood. I'm closer to Courtney. After 10 years, Travis and Courtney's friendship started turning into something more. Courtney and Travis have been friends and family friends for a very long time. But recently, something sparked and their relationship has turned romantic. Is Travis the right partner for Courtney? Didn't her ex also struggle with addiction? That's true, but Travis took charge of his recovery and his mental health to show that you don't have to be defined by your failures. Now I'm spending time with a woman who's like a great mom, who's a great friend that just comes natural. But as Courtney and Travis grew closer, Shayna accused them of destroying her family and keeping her kids from her. Your kids accusing you of being like an absent mother. What's going on right now? It's heartbreaking. It's every mother's worst nightmare. But we just had dinner with our kids and all their friends three weeks ago. So no. this has all started since my ex started dating a certain person. My family's broken because of this family. And now my kids and I are alienated from each other because of another sister in the family. So thanks for uh, destroying my family. Twice. Did she just say that they saw their, her kids three weeks ago? Like she's blaming the wrong person here. Shayna's kids called her out on social media with their daughter Alabama saying, my mom has never completely been in my life. Can you guys stop painting her out to be an amazing mom? While their son Landon said that Shayna isn't in their lives like their dad is. Regardless of what Shayna claimed, Travis's kids love spending time with Courtney and their blended family. Travis clearly found a devoted partner in Courtney, and he even took his first flight since the crash with her. He said, she had just said to me, I would love to do so much traveling with you. And I said, well, when the day comes you wanna fly, I'm telling you, I'll do it with you. I would do anything with you. Just give me 24 hours notice. By owning up to his mistakes and taking charge of his own well-being, Travis was able to finally build the happy and healthy home he wanted for his kids, and he found the perfect partner to share it with. I've been madly in love with Courtney forever, and I believe she's my soulmate. He took accountability, because he literally knows that tomorrow's not promised.